practice, yeah I need to practice Driving like a Franklin, shooting like a Franklin Yeah I need to practice, yeah I need to practice Walking like a Franklin, smoking like a Franklin Franklin, 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 still Franklin, 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 still Except for Mr. Ryan Everybody, welcome back to my channel. I will be reacting to Black Panther vs. Batman the Bell Smith video. And the reason why I didn't do it yeah, um, last week, great this video last week, is because one, I was being lazy, and two, I was tired. But being lazy. But yeah, um, also, guys, if whoever is watching this video, I'm. I am doing a Q and A priest. Well, not pretty soon. It's gonna is. Uh, I'm gonna do a Q and A. At um over spring break, and so I have time. So I have time to actually edit and get all the, or maybe not edit, but do the video. Let's even though guys. Um, let's even though. If you're watching, um, if you want to do a Q, if you want to post your Q, if you have a question for me, it can be anything personal, it can be anything, it can be anything about me. I don't, I don't care how personal it is. It's deceptive time. Anyways, um, yeah. So just post your question in the comments below or go in the Discord and ask me questions there. And yeah. But yeah, and, and also it's the re main reason why I'm giving it. At least two. I think it's at least two months. Is it two months? Okay. So apparently, yeah, it is two months or month. Or, I don't know. Let's just round it up to two months. The reason why I'm giving it two months because basically, um, yeah. It's basically because knowing me, I am going to forget. Because even though I want to do a Q&A so bad, I tried doing it on Twitter. And I had that much Twitter, for, um, that much people actually following me on Twitter. And then I am not really going nowhere. So, I tr I think I tried that. I don't know when. That's how I try. I think I did try, but no one submitted no questions. So plus even though the limitation on um, the limit on the queue the questions is going to be ten because yeah, it's gonna be ten because I'm like getting like a ridiculous amount of questions. Plus I will be trying to do that uh, frequently. But even though oh my gosh, I have so much ideas. Okay, so this one's the last thing and then I'll talk about Batman or Black Panther, which should be pretty obvious of the winner. Um I do want to do a versus a versus debate series. I'm not, but it's not gonna be like all the time, twenty four seven. Uh, I'll probably think about it, think of the name, all that stuff, rules, and all that stuff. But yeah. Anyways, let's get on with the Black Panther versus Batman. It's very obvious who's gonna win. Black Panther, <clears throat> Batman. No, no, I mean no. Uh, yeah, Batman. Totally Batman will win because he has a stronger arsenal. No, I'm joking. Black Panther all the way. Vibranium Claws was even though his armor I think is made of vibranium. Vibranium, so yeah. But even though I don't think none of Batman's weapons can actually pierce anything similar to vibranium and his and DC. But we have prep time, oh my god. Gosh, Black Panther will be destroyed. But without further ado, guys, let's get on with this video right now. Oh, yeah, this is season 5 too. So, hey! Ooh, new music! Predators. These fearsome beasts strike fear into the hearts of many. Well, sometimes they strike in awe, but yeah, mostly fear. And these two superheroes embody the fear of specific predators to an extreme. Batman, the genius crime fighter from DC Comics. And Black Panther, Marvel's royal warrior scientist. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. 
Hey, that's the idea of, uh, Before, the whoever wants to move you, do not spoil it in the comic. Do you do, I'll ban you. T'Challa was born the prince of Wakanda. Waka, where now? Wakanda is an isolated fictional nation somewhere in Africa. But while Wakanda itself is shrouded in secrecy, T'Challa was anything but isolated. He's been pretty much everywhere, but especially anywhere with a good university. Huh. After earning numerous degrees from Harvard, Oxford, Berkeley, oh, and MIT, T'Challa right. came home. His father, Wakanda's I king, and then trillion dollars been assassinated, Word? and a new ruler needed to be named. But to claim the throne, like, he'd have to climb nine, through the right Ninety path. trillion this would bucks. Be a test of fortitude, designed to stress huh. T'Challa's bravery, fearlessness, and combat prowess. Also known as beating the crap out of six super deadly fighters. But hey, T'Challa wasn't just a nerdy brainiac. He could fight too, and he passed with flying colors. Earning the throne <coughs> and the blessing of Wakanda's fly. guardian deity, yes. Fast, the Panther God. But he had to nab some superpowers first, so he went through the ritual of the heart-shaped herb. This herb connected T'Challa to the Panther God, and mm. that link bestowed him numerous superhuman abilities. Who knew getting high could turn you into a superhero? Huh. T'Challa's new powers included superhero strength, strength, healing, and agility. His senses also dramatically increased in acuity. Not only can he see in the dark, but his superior vision can even make out infrared and ultraviolet light. So, like the powers of a cat? Yes and no. While cats do have exceptional eyesight, they cannot see infrared or UV light. Though it is a common misconception that they oh. can. Well, just like a cat, he can huh. always land on his feet thanks to his other super senses. Specifically, his vastly improved kinesthetic sense. Which is, uh, definitely a sense for something. Kinesthetic senses make up a person's awareness of their own movement, like muscle memory, but in a broader scope. So, uh, like, yeah, ultra instinct. Walk up steps without looking at them. Yes. Or when I shoot my shotgun with my eyes closed. No, no. So Bye, you have got sense hit. lets him move and act without having to think about it too much. He can jump across tree branches and ledges without even looking. Hey, Wiz, how do I become king of Wakanda? Those powers sound cool as hell. I don't know, Boomstick. Everyone knows you're terrible at keeping secrets. And Wakanda House is one of the biggest secrets in comic book history. Oh. You're talking about how Black Panther married Storm from the X-Men? I'm really? talking about Wakanda's enormous reserves of vibranium. Oh yeah, that's the stuff Captain America's indestructible shield is made of. Isn't that adamantium right. or vibranium? If you didn't know, come in on the meteorite of vibranium crashed in Wakanda. And they hoarded it all to themselves. And I don't blame them. Vibranium is an extremely durable metal which can absorb audio and kinetic energy. A single gram sells for 10,000 US dollars. Damn. And Wakanda's vibranium mound is estimated to be 10,000 tons. That's over $9 billion. They're rich, super rich. With all that wealth, Wakanda <laughs> became a techno marvel <laughs> decades ahead. If all that's in real life. Wait, okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. The one that we need, Google. What is. Okay then, so I'll probably look it up. No matter look it up after the recording and probably put it on the screen. Alright. Sure. Oh. Alright. Back to the video. Of the rest of the world. They were exploring outer space years before the US and Russia even tried. So why is this important? Well, as King of Wakanda, T'Challa has unlimited access to all of his country's resources. That suit of his doesn't just look cool, it's made of vibranium. The panther habit Figures. is coated in a vibranium microweave mesh. This doesn't just block incoming attacks, it can literally rob them of their momentum. For example, yeah. bullets don't bounce off, they stop dead and fall straight down. Their kinetic energy absorbed into the suit. The even fuck? the shells from a helicopter mounted minigun can't even phase him. He carries energy daggers, a shield of hardened light, a teleportation device, and claws. Which are made of a special Antarctic version of vibranium called anti-metal. Guess why it's yeah. called that? Because it can melt other metal. What can this suit do? 
Well, the vibranium wave does have a limit to how much energy it can absorb all at once. Um, if it well, takes in too limit? much, it could wind up expelling said energy in a, well, destructive fashion. Yay! Oh, God! Ah, but don't worry, he's fine, somehow. Under yeah. T'Challa's leadership, Marvel Wanda has warded physics. off many would-be invaders. Even with Doctor Doom, Namor, and Ulysses Claw charging in, Wakanda was never truly conquered. They even Dang. stopped an alien invasion, and hey, nobody's ever ready for one of those. In addition, T'Challa has studied every major martial art, of which there are about 160. He's considered oh, one damn. of the finest hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the world. He's beat the shit out of Captain America, Iron Man, and Daredevil. Hell, he once even Daredevil, Karnak, who's also one of the world's finest martial artists, with just one hit. He is incredibly strong and can jump well over 30 feet. He can even throw spears through stone walls. Typically, for construction like this, a substantially hard stone would be used, such as granite. With this in mind, T'Challa must have thrown the spear hard enough to hit the wall with a force of over 20,000 pounds per square inch. Yeah, and the guy is literally strong enough to punch your jaw. He can outrun traffic and is said to be faster than a panther, Bye. which can run around 50 miles per hour. He's quick enough to pull a fast one on Wolverine. Whoa, hold on. Did he just take out five X-Men by throwing another X-Man at him? Yes, yes, he did. However, under that amazing suit, he is still human. Even with the Panther God's power, he's still prone to failure. This has even caused him to relinquish those powers in the past. And like with kinetic energy, the suit can only take so many intensely focused sound blasts before overloading. Still, the Black Panther is badass. He's got the tech, the skills, and the country to prove it. Claw, do you have any children? No. Good, because I would have to kill them too. Oh, goddamn. Batman, and we are another. Throughout the underworld of Gotham City, one name Damn, and this, this is the third time when I think about it. Batman vs. Spider Man, Batman vs. Captain America, and this one. You know who he is, the billionaire Bruce Wayne, and it ain't his first battle to the death. Pretty mm. much, though, don't mistake his intentions. Vengeance may sound dramatic and all, but in truth, Batman fights crime in an attempt to save others from suffering the same kind of tragedy he experienced as a child. How oh. noble. And ironic, considering he was done oh, by a group called the League of Assassins. Well, he <laughs> dresses like a bat, sleeps with a cat burglar, and constantly brings children into battle. So he's clearly <coughs> got a few complicated issues. But let's see what he can really do. Bats is really, really smart and considered one of the best tacticians on Earth. No wonder he's always welcome at the Justice League, even though he doesn't well, somehow have he's superpowers at all. Nah, somehow. Wait, he is. Not just some guy his back, wor right? wealth is smaller than Black Panther's, apparently. Sure, he's intelligent, but he's also incredibly deadly. He was trained to be a ninja who's a master of infiltration and silent takedowns, so sounds about right. Bruce has studied every martial art known to man. After perfecting full body control at the age of 18, he was able to quickly learn and master at least 127 of them, including Taekwondo, Muay Thai. Judo and boxing. It's not every Wait, day. Black Panther is can literally take you down in 127 different ways. He's also touted as the world's greatest detective, and with good reason. He's like Sherlock Holmes on steroids. Pretty he much. once figured out that an opponent didn't have a tongue just by the way their jaw bounced off his knuckles. There's being a detective, and then there's being Batman. And all that's before God his damn Batman. And utility belt, filled to the brim with all sorts of useful gadgets and gizmos. A lot of which are thanks to his family business, Wayne Enterprises. From steel mills to airlines to record labels, this company does it all. And that means Batman has it all, too. According to Forbes, Wayne's net worth thanks to his company adds up to 9.2 billion U.S. dollars. With that much cash, he can afford any kind of weapon he wants. Yeah. Grappling hooks, smoke pellets, cryo and thermite grenades, and of course, the Batarangs. Originally designed as a boomerang weapon, Wayne eventually molded his batarangs into custom shurikens, some of which are outfitted with electric shocks, flash bulbs, and explosives. And last but not least, don't forget his at least some of them can be remote control fire, too. Electricity and bladed attacks, and is almost totally bulletproof thanks to a Kevlar vest sewn into it. Plus, his cowl sports night infrared and UV vision. 
But that's more than just a tech wizard. This guy bench presses a thousand pounds in his everyday workout. A thousand pounds! And I thought this guy didn't have I mean, that's impressive. He doesn't. Stuff. The current bench press world record is actually slightly higher at 1,075 pounds, solidly placing Wayne at peak human levels. This idea generally applies to him in pretty much every area, physically and mentally. He's strong enough to break through walls, rip apart car parts, and pull out prison bars. He's quick enough to avoid gunfire and even Darkseid's nearly unavoidable Omega Beam. Somehow. In his strongest suits, he's even tough enough to take a hit from Superman. Yeah, if Brucey ever enters the Olympics, everyone else might as well rage quit. Same difference. Bye. Really. That's not to say he's invincible. True. He Whenever seriously is. Justice isn't. League gets in a fight with some big bads, he usually has to keep his distance. He's also somewhat mentally unstable and prone to lashing out. However, he knows this. It's one of the main reasons why he refuses to carry firearms. That's a bummer. Those are my favorite types of arms. Maybe they'll help him next time Bane tries to break his back. But of all his traits, Bruce Wayne's strongest attribute is his sheer unstoppable tenacity. Even sure after being that. drugged by the Joker after days without sleep, put in a straitjacket, locked in a coffin, and buried alive six feet underground, he refused to die. It takes a lot Not to, today, a lot to take this. down the Batman. Oh, goddamn Batman. He's goddamn All right, Batman. Alright, the ambassadors are set. You never question Batman. Debate once and for never. all. But first, all this talk of animals has made me think about eating some with Blue Apron. How many times I go sponsor? Right there. Way to cook. Ah, uh, what? The death battle. What happened to him? 2D, alright. <laughs> Freaking animations are great! You challenge a king to face the might of his people! I'll give them something to fear. How fast, how fast can you put his mask? That's back on the ground. Animation. Yeah, this. Maybe. Thank you. Yo, boy. Oh, hey. I ain't lying right now. That is freaking cool. Uh... Witness the power of a king. Whoa. Or not to be had. This is the and question. My rule is law. Whoa, that's a new one. 
Black Panther and Batman were pretty evenly matched. Both were super geniuses and expert combatants. Well, BP was stronger and faster thanks to that superhuman herb. It definitely helped, but alone was not enough to beat the bat. Batman has won dozens of duels against people with similar or even better abilities. As far as skills were concerned, neither held a distinct advantage. However, that was not the case when it came to their weapons and armor. Long story short, that vibranium got Batman stumped. He just didn't have anything in that belt of his that could get around it. We scoured the comics, movies, TV shows, and more to see if Batman had any possible way of countering the vibranium. While he's used hundreds of clever gadgets over the years, we were actually very surprised to find that he had no reliable method of getting around armor like that. Take a look at Batman's fights with Bane. He doesn't have armor, but he's physically superior to Bats just like Black Panther is. And what does Batty always do to beat him? Aim for the weak spot. But guess what? Black Panther doesn't have a weak spot. It's certainly believable that Wayne had the ability to develop a gun that could overload the Panther habit. But even if he could, he never would wield it in the first place thanks to his rejection of all firearms. And while Damn. his suit can stop a few knives and bullets, it didn't stand a chance against Black Panther's anti metal I mean, if you would have actually give him some other armies that can help him. I mean, the I see that more fair, instead of giving him the Kevlar, instead of giving him the hey Kevlar guys, armor, but whatever. Hey of Season 5. Want to watch the commentary on this episode? Click that box but right yeah, over there, start a first membership trial. And if you want the fight track, click the description below. Sounds pretty <sighs> good. Reason vs. Twilight, which I got. If you want to see my reaction, I would have been like, this <laughs> I mean... <sighs> I don't know too much about my little pony, so I cannot get my. I can't be like, oh yeah, she's fire, she's slower than Rainbow Dash and stuff like that. <laughs> but excuse me, but I cannot say that. Basically, my little pony is a stupid debate. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's pretty a good debate to debate about. But come on, you can find a big better matchup for Raven. Even though X Google that that can probably give better results for for Raven versus Twilight, then yeah, you get the picture. Anyways, yeah, that'll be it. Please post your um please post your questions in the Q um for the Q and A, and don't worry guys, I will give you guys credit and stuff like that. You know how Q and A's work. You know how it works. You know how to do it. Now do it. You don't. I will personally kill you. Wait, Batman. Batman. But yeah, um, cop. Well, wait, get this. Cop. Please punch the like button, phone, computer, tablet, where you to watch this video. Punch that screen. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what do you want me to react to, and I will do it whenever I get the chance. But without further ado, guys, peace.